Welcome to the Papa Bear Show, and here's the second comic haul for this week. Uh, I picked out those comics yesterday, Friday, December 12th. Uh, so, those are more of uh, my Marvel's kind of comics. Uh, so, the first one I picked up was uh, Rocket Raccoon, number six. I really like this series. Um, I think it's my favorite from Marvel. So, uh, this and Star-Lord, uh, Legendary Star-Lord. It's pretty much the only one I follow, beside one, like a few ones. Uh, the second one is Guardians of the Galaxy Annual 1. Um, I really like Guardians, since I love Rocket Raccoon. Another one I picked up was uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men number 1. I'm um, not a big fan of Spider-Man, of uh, but I, I like X-Men kind of, and I really want to see how they merge both. So can't wait to read that one. Another series <clears throat> I'm following is uh, Tor. Um, this is number three. Um, since they changed Tor a few issues ago. Um, it's not too bad, you know, I, I like reading it once in a while, so um, I'll read this. Uh, the other one I'm reading will be Spider-Verse Team-Up, number two, with um, Spider-Gwen. Um, I don't see the big fuzz out of Spider-Gwen, but, you know, I'll keep up to date, I'll read it, I'll see what's going on with this. Another series I really, really like is uh, V-Wars. Uh, this is number eight. This is the subscription uh, variant cover. Uh, so far, V-Wars is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the entire series. But, so far, I keep, I'm going to keep getting it in my pull list. Another one I really, really like is Copperhead. Copperhead is awesome. Um, this is from Image. Image number four. Uh, the artwork is really, really great. Um, so far, I've been enjoying the other three issues. Really good series. Uh, I recommend it to anyone that likes sci-fi, um, out of this world kind of space thing, but really good. Another one I really like is, um, that I picked up this week is, uh, X from uh, Boom Studio. This is number five. <clears throat> I really like, uh, Boom Studios coming up with awesome series lately. Uh, so I recommend this. It's not super popular. I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but, um, uh, it's totally worth it. And, uh, another one that my, um comic book guy told me about he's like hey you should read that one so I don't know I'll it's from 12 gauge comic or publisher or whatever it's uh, ice uh, critical mass number one uh, it's a really cheap comic uh, 199 so I don't know I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that uh, ice stand for immigration and custom enforcement so, we will see. And another one I totally forgot to tell you about on Wednesday uh, is uh, Bitch Planet. I did a review already. Um, but yeah, for some reason I forgot to put it in my, uh, in my video la like a few days ago. So yeah, Bitch Planet. Not too bad. Um, I would actually... I, I will actually go and pick up number two. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go through everything. There's a lot of nudity. It's very raunchy. There's a lot of action. Um, seems to be like a TV show of some sort. Uh, I don't know. I'll read it. Image. I like everything that Image does. Um, I also picked up some, um, some trades, uh, my uh, LCS had some uh, Christmas uh, 
special for trades, used trades. So I picked up Marvel 1602. Um, it seems to be a... Um, well, it's from Neil Gaiman, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, but it, it it seems to be pretty nice. Um, you know, it's it's from the uh, time period of 1602. Uh, seems to be everyone from Marvel. Um, you know, I like stuff from the old days, so I'll keep it a try. Another one I really like that I picked up. And I can't wait to read it. Um, I'm a super, super big fan of Ben Templesmith. I love Ben Templesmith. Uh, for some reason, he's the one doing the story and he's doing everything. Like, this is entirely Ben Templesmith. Um, the artwork of Ben Templesmith is retarded. It's awesome. I really, 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 really dig this. So, you know, it's super dark, super, like, I don't know, can't wait to read this. And, uh, of course, <clears throat> I, I've been reading uh, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtle uh, series lately, and uh, I picked up, um, not the ongoing, but the mini series, so uh, this came, just came out, so... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, uh, Turtles in Times. Um, the artwork is awesome. Like, seriously, artwork is great. I really, really like the artwork. Uh, so I picked this. I picked up the uh, Villains series. And I also picked up uh, the uh, other miniseries that uh, they came out with. So, those two. So, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that was my all for the week. Uh, next week is going to be a huge, huge week for me. Uh, I made a list here of uh, pretty much everything I'm going to pick up. So, there's uh, Kitchen number two. There's uh, Solitary number one, Django Zoro number two, Big and Bang number two, Ragnarok number three, Rot and Rune number four, Shadow Show number two, huge week for IDW, uh, Drifter number two, Goners, awesome, awesome series, Goners number three, Intercept number two, um, a, a series I really like, it's... Uh, Oddly Normal number four that's coming out. I, I think I'm going to do a review on that one because it's it's really, really great. And I'll probably uh, go through number one to four. Um, there's um, the, my book of the week I really, really want to see is uh, Rumble number one. Um, that might be a great, that's going to be probably a really great series and a really great book. Um, there's also uh, The Wicked and the Divine number six. I've been a huge fan of that series. Uh, Witches, of course. Witches number three. Uh, there's, uh, if I go with Marvel, I have uh, Axis Obgoblin number three. I think that's the last one of the uh, mini series from uh, Obgoblin. But uh, so far, it's super awesome. Um, Deadlock number three. I got uh, Inhuman number 10. Uh, I really, really dig the Inhuman series. Uh, Besides that, there's also, of course, Moon Knight. Moon Knight number 10. Super good series also. I really recommend it to everyone. Um, there's one I'm going to pick up, but I'm not... I think it's like a three-part mini series also. It's uh, Scarlet Spiders. So it's Scarlet Spiders number two. Um, another one, a, a very independent comic, is 13 Coins. Um... I'm not sure how many comics. I think it's six. I think it's a, a mini series. But uh, once I got all of them, I'll do an actual review on every single comics of that series. And there's also Mono number one coming out. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be my pull list for next week. So that's a lot. I think it's like 20, 21 comics. It's retarded. And also, I have some uh, 
I also have some trades <clears throat> sitting in my pull list, my pull bin at my LCS. Um, so yeah, very expensive week next week before Christmas. So that's pretty much it. So thank you for tuning in into the Papa Bear Show, and I'll see you later. Bye now.